Hi. We're going to be looking at another exponential equation. In this case, remember, we want to solve them. What's well, trying to solve for x. And in this case, we've added a wrinkle because what we have on the left side is 1 over 16 to the 3x. And that's equal to 4 to the 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1 is all in the power. So 4 to the 2x plus 1. We have to solve this. Well, the way we've been looking at it is trying to make the bases the same. And we should hopefully by now start seeing things like 16 and 4. Okay, they should be able to go together. But right now, this is on the bottom. We don't want that. We're going to have to bring it up. And remember, that's where we're using the negative exponents. Because 1 over 16 to the 3x is the same as saying 16 to the negative 3x. That was really the first trick we had to use for this problem. Anytime you have the things on the bottom, you can flip them to the top by putting the exponent negative. Or vice versa. If I had it on top, I want to get it to the bottom, put a negative. So this is the same as that. This line is the same as the previous line. And now we got to think, I want these to be the same base. I can put them both to the base of 2, but 16 can also be put to the base of 4. So might as well just do that, not have to convert both of these. Because I can think 4 squared is the same as 16. So I'm replacing the 16 with 4 squared, and I still have the minus 3x outside. And that's equal to 4 to the 2x plus 1. Again, I can put these both to the power of 2, but why bother making my work more? So remember, I have to multiply these out if I'm combining these exponents. So I get 4 to the minus 6x equals 4 to the 2x plus 1. Bases are the same, means the exponents must be equal. So I can write minus 6x equals 2x plus 1. Even if I write it messily, I can still write it. So, I got to solve for x. Well, I can subtract 2x from both sides. So, minus 6x, minus 2x. As always, it's BS. It's both sides. Minus 2x. These will cancel. I get minus 8x equals 1. Well, if I want the x on its own, I got to do the opposite of what's being done to it. Right now, I'm multiplying by negative 8, so I divide by negative 8. Very squeakily and cancel, so I get x equals minus 1 over 8. Remember, we're just doing the opposite of what's being done to the x. That way it becomes all on its own, and we just solved our problem.